Protesters in Nigeria have marched to the presidential residence demanding politicians do more to find 219 schoolgirls still missing after they were kidnapped by Boko Haram more than a year ago. The girls were taken from their school in Chaibok in northeastern Borno State in April 2014. President Mohamedou Bahari met with a family member, met with family members on Thursday to reassure them of his commitment to securing the girls' release. But parents say more should have been done earlier. On the part of we as the parents, these 219 girls in the captivity, how many people has been rescued from Sebisa? more than 5,000 people. Why is it that up to now, even a single girl out of our own couldn't be is rescued? Why is that? Well, Rotimi Alawali is the spokesperson for the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, and he joins me now from Abuji. Rotimi, thank you so much for your time. Uh, today, you participated in, in what we saw, some very, uh, well, distressing images, really, with the march to the presidential villa. Uh, did you get the answers you were looking for? We didn't quite get the answers that we were looking for. Um, this has been day 640 since um, over 219 girls were kidnapped from their school dormitory in Chibok, Borno State, Nigeria. And we had been um, protesting on a daily basis by holding a daily seat out in Abuja, asking that the government of Nigeria work earnestly to bring back the girls. And um, the last time we marched to the president, uh, presidential residence was in, on July 8, uh, 2015. And we met the president and he made some promises. He, he said also on May 29, when he took over government, that uh, the war against Boko Haram would not have been concluded until the Chibok girls are rescued. And it, was, it came as a surprise to us in December when the government said they had technically defeated Boko Haram, but the girls had not been rescued. Uh, Ratimi, President Bahari, one of the things he said when he got into office was that he was going to make this a key priority, finding these girls, but now it appears that not only do they not know where they are, uh, they have no plan uh, at the moment of rescuing them. How does that make you feel? Uh, it, it, I mean, it, it, it was a very emotional match today because, in, in fact, when we were planning the match, we didn't intend to bring uh, the Chibok parents from uh, Borno because uh, uh, Chibok is about 20 hours by road to Abuja. But when the Chibok parents heard that we were marching to the presidential villa, they volunteered and paid their way by themselves to join the protest because they said it's been too long and they cannot longer hold the pain of not knowing where the do their daughters are. Uh, we were at the presidential villa today where we met with uh, a representative of government, including the chief of army staff, the national security advisor, but we insisted that we have to meet with the pre president. Uh, following a wait of about two hours, we met with the president, who also said uh, the, the government is doing all it can to ensure the safety and rescue of these girls alive. But due to the sensitivity of the issue, some of the things that they are doing will not be revealed publicly. Uh, Rotimi, uh, this campaign was brought to life with the terrible incidents that happened uh, last year with these 219 girls. But in actual fact, there are th thousands of girls facing similar consequences where you are. Uh, how can parents and loved ones possibly deal with these horrific circumstances and not knowing where their daughters are? Again, one of the things that uh, we, we heard today from the National Security Advisor in Nigeria, that in the last three months alone, over 3,000 um, persons who have been abducted by Boko Haram has been rescued by the military. Uh, this was some good news because, uh, aside from the Chibok girls, a movement continues to advocate that all those who have been abducted uh, by, the, uh, by, the, by the terrorist group should be rescued and released by government. But we want the government to do more and ensure that the Chibok girls who are also abducted are rescued, and every other person who has been abducted uh, by the terrorist group should be rescued, released, and united back to their families. Rotimi Alawali, thank you so much for joining us. And from everyone here at TRT, we wish you the very best in your campaign to bring our girls home.